Notes in the brain can contain tables to display structured content. The brain's note tables are formed using a GitHub flavored markdown. This means they are created using the pipe symbol, sometimes called the vertical bar on your keyboard. Keyboards can be different, but this symbol is usually created using a shift backslash combination. Tables can be created manually, but they don't need to be. You have the option of copying a table from Excel and pasting right into a note where it can be further edited. You can also click on the table icon in the content area to insert a basic table. Three columns wide, one row tall with a header row. The first line in a table is treated as a header row. If it has content, the header row will display a contrasting font and background color. If you leave it blank, it will simply not be displayed when the note is not being actively edited. Now that we can insert tables into notes, let's modify them. First, many of the formatting capabilities for notes can exist within cells, such as bullets, headings, and colors. Multi-line cells are supported using either Shift-Enter or by typing NL in curly brackets to denote new lines. To justify a column, place the justification prefix in the header row. To justify the table itself, place the justification bracket at the start of the header row before the first pipe symbol. If you'd like to add a new row, just place your cursor at the end of the row outside the last pipe symbol in that line and press Enter. For a new column, place the cursor at the beginning of the column you'd like to bump to the right and insert a new pipe symbol. You'll need to do this on each row to keep the table in order and extend the new column from top to bottom. For more information on adding tables to notes, click the question mark icon in the toolbar to access the brain's Markdown Reference Guide.